the site of Colombo Falls made an unexpected archaeological discovery. They found wood preserved underneath the river, which would turn out to be almost half a million years old. Not just any old wood, wood that had been worked by humans, including the remains of what looks to be the earliest structure known in the world. The current consensus on the oldest human structure is 9000 BC in Gobekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe. But a discovery made in 2019 and published in November 2023 is now the oldest construction in history, and who may have built it will shock you. For the longest time we had assumed that man's technological development was linear and started very recently, geologically speaking. We assumed that after the last ice age, man discovered agriculture, and that from there, humans entered the Neolithic stone building phase. According to records, this would have been about 11,000 years ago. Then we discovered that the great mountain in Padang Padang wasn't natural at all, and that it was in fact a pyramid with a subterranean chamber that has yet to be explored. We did a video on this and on the massive cover-up that is happening on that site. In fact, the Indonesian authorities do not want anyone to explore the chamber, let alone explore the site. Guess how old the pyramid at Padang Padang would be if it was confirmed. 25,000 years old. That would immediately double the human civilization phase. If you are curious to find out more about this, I'll leave the link to the video in the description. But all in all, this would make sense. Because, if you think of the fact that anatomically modern humans are said to be at 300,000 years old, at least from the current historical narrative, and if we only take the last 100,000 years and grossly project our own 10,000-year civilization cycle onto equally intelligent humans in the past, then it is reasonable to assume that there would have been multiple, and I mean multiple cycles of human civilization at various stages of advancements. And we have proof of this because the Ashango bone which was discovered in the Congo Basin and which dates back to at least 22,000 years, with some estimates at 40,000, shows us that Africans already had advanced mathematics tens of thousands of years before the same people migrated down the Nile to Egypt. This doesn't mean that all humans everywhere had advancements in civilization at the same time. In fact, even today, we have people living at almost all stages of civilization. Also, we tend to think that people who have hunter-gatherer lives, or people who still have civilization that are tied to basic agriculture, are stupid. Nothing could be further from the truth. They may not have the cultural and scientific knowledge that city dwellers have, but if you ever have the chance of speaking with a true native of the land that still live off the land, you will very quickly realize how intelligent they are. In fact, in many ways, they might be smarter. Not more knowledgeable, but better problem solvers and smarter. They're almost all have near-perfect memory and recall. And their ability to find innovative solutions by themselves in their environment is striking. In fact, in his book Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, by Yuval Noah Harari, Harari addresses the adaptability and ingenuity of hunter-gatherers, quote, The average forager had wider, deeper, and more varied knowledge of her immediate surroundings than most of her modern descendants. Today, most people in industrial societies don't need to know much about the natural world to survive. A forager's daily survival depended on her ability to notice minute details about the environment. It was literally a matter of life and death. End quote. In the same way, Elizabeth Marshall Thomas recounts in her book, The Old Way, a story of the first people, that she wrote when she was living amongst the Ju Huansi people, a hunter-gatherer group in Africa. Quote, Their memory was astonishing. They could recall the exact spot where a honey tree was found years earlier, the last time it bore fruit, and whether it might be ready again. Their knowledge of plants, animals, and weather patterns was encyclopedic, far surpassing that of most scientists in the field." End quote. So then, we should not be surprised to find signs of complex civilization in our distant past. 
because as long as the intelligence gene has existed, there has been potential for humans to build civilization, and this is exactly what we find in this almost half a million year old planned wooden structure in the heart of Africa. The Colombo Falls archaeological discovery of the interlocking wooden structure was made by a team led by Professor Larry Barham from the University of Liverpool, working in collaboration with researchers from Zambia and other international institutions. The team conducted fieldwork at Colombo Falls in 2019, during which they unearthed the two notched logs, along with other wooden artifacts. The findings were later analyzed and dated using advanced techniques, including luminescence dating, to determine that the structure was approximately 476,000 years old. The results of this groundbreaking discovery were finally published in Nature on September 20, 2023. The remarkable preservation of the wooden structure at Colombo Falls, dating back 476,000 years, is primarily due to the site's unique waterlogged environment. Submersion in water-saturated sediments created anaerobic conditions, where the absence of oxygen significantly slowed the decomposition of organic material. Without oxygen, bacteria and fungi responsible for breaking down wood were unable to thrive. Over time, the structure became buried under layers of sediment, which provided additional protection from exposure to air, sunlight, and temperature fluctuations that would normally accelerate decay. What does that mean? That means we are extremely lucky to have found the remains of these wooden structures. And these can't be mistaken for a random positioning of the wooden logs. The wood was selected for its sturdiness, it was chiseled so that both surviving pieces interlock, and it was most probably held by some binding mechanism. That is very, very advanced behavior. It requires understanding of material science, planning, usage of tools, construction techniques, which also means that these techniques evolved over time. This also implies that there was enough continuity of knowledge and technology for a long enough period to reach that point. We can't infer agriculture, but they at least had a sustained source of food. Oh, and tool use implies a humanoid with opposable thumbs. And humans were believed to have not been present at the time, at least from what we are made to understand. So then, if humans didn't build it, who did? Well, there is one good candidate. For decades, we've been told that bigger brains equal bigger smarts. This view, often tainted by the biased pseudoscience of 18th and 19th century anthropologists, attempted to create racial hierarchies based on skull size. But in 2013, Dr. Lee Berger, a paleoanthropologist from the University of the Witwatersrand in South Africa, discovered remains of a member of the human family branch that helped us fill the gap on how intelligence arose in humans. The first fossils were unearthed within the Rising Star Cave System, located in the Cradle of Humankind World Heritage Site near Johannesburg, South Africa. So, geographically close to where the wooden structures were found in Colombo Falls. But with Naledi's small brain size, she was exhibiting surprising intellect, burying their dead, navigating complex cave systems, and probably using tools with their opposing thumbs. And these intelligence traits are directly associated with the TKTL1 gene that Naledi was the first to possess. This gene, with its uniquely human mutation, has been linked to increased neuron production in the neocortex, the brain's thinking cap. This mutation, absent in other primates, is thought to be a major player in the evolution of human intelligence. Could a similar genetic tweak have been present in the Colombo Falls builders, allowing them to punch above their weight, cognitively speaking? Is this why the archaeological digs have not moved on an inch since 2014? Are they afraid of what they might find? In their 2023 study published in Nature, Barham et al. described the Colombo Falls structure as comprising of two interlocking logs, joined transversely by a notch. The upper log, measuring over 141.3 centimeters in length, 
features a U-shaped notch that fits securely over the larger underlying log. This intentional shaping and joining suggests a deliberate construction technique, indicating a level of planning and woodworking skill previously unattributed to hominids of that era. The researchers further note that the notched logs were crafted from large fruited bush willow, Combratum zaheri, a durable hardwood. The choice of material and the method of joining imply a sophisticated understanding of structural integrity and resource selection. This means they engaged in complex construction activities much earlier than previously documented. Simply put, the builders of Colambo Falls knew what they were doing, and they put their skills in full display. Just to be clear, we have never found any structure of the kind associated with Neanderthal before they started mating with humans. Colombo alone shows that humans or hominids living in Africa 476,000 years ago were already planning, cutting wood, carving it, and building complex structures with it. That's half a million years ago. And I will point out that all of these discoveries are being made in Africa, not in Europe, North America, nor Asia, but in Africa, where humans continued to evolve well after they had acquired the intelligence gene. So both the discovery at Colambo Falls and Homo naledi show that human development had occurred in Africa for very long. It also shows that we have a very inaccurate model of what makes a being intelligent. Unlike what we have been sold for so long, it is clear that brain architecture and neuron and dendrite density are far more correlated with intelligence than brain size is. But even if it wasn't Homo naledi that built the structure at Colambo Falls, if it happened to be modern humans themselves, it doesn't diminish the importance of this discovery. Because it would mean that humans were walking the earth, not just 300,000 years ago, but half a million years ago, and they were building sophisticated structures with possible implication of civilization. Don't forget to hit the like button and share the video, this is what keeps this channel going. And if you can spare a dollar, I would be eternally grateful if you joined my Patreon or YouTube membership.